Ed Ruscha is one of the most uh, well-known, famous living artists in America today. His, his paintings sell in excess of $3 million. Became uh, famous for the series of paintings he did uh, from photographs he shot on Route 66 uh, in the early 60s. They were all of gas stations along Route 66. And one of the most famous ones was done here in Amarillo. The Roche edition came about through Steve Anderson, who was the founder of Vermilion Editions Limited. Steve was friends with uh, Roche, and this project came up to do his print uh, for a show of his work, a kind of a retrospective show of his work in New York. He came to me and said, do you think we can do that? And uh, I said, we'd be glad to do it. This is kind of a revitalization going on of the arts here in Amarillo. Uh, Vermilion being moved here from Minneapolis was a, quite a coup um, for the university and for this, the city. And then since then, other artists have moved here and some printmakers are starting up uh, other projects. The Route 66 connection for uh, Ed's uh, work that he started back in the early 60s and then being able to do it here the Cimarron Printmakers facility which is on Route 66 just you know there's so many coincidences in the whole thing you know we're printing it on Route 66 and Route 66 is where uh, Ed's fame began and, uh, and the standard station was one of the most famous of them all. As he drove Route 66 from Oklahoma to California back in the early 60s, um, he shot photographs of, of gas stations all along the route. The standard station that uh, still exists out on uh, the old part of Amarillo Boulevard where Route 66 was, um, just became one of the icons of that whole series. The station is still there, of course it's in really bad condition. and. I think the last time I drove by it, it was a used car place, but it was just one of the most recognized of the images from that series that he did.